it's not so easy when you spent your whole life believing that all that stuff is me, it's not so easy to suddenly kind of switch, yeah? it takes time, it's a bit shocking. I mean, some of you can be a bit shocked already from what we've done yesterday and maybe more from what we're doing today. So this shock is actually quite natural if you've not really examined all this before. Yeah? Yeah, and also um, I didn't want to let it go. I liked it. In an interesting process because she w was a trained as a lawyer. Is that right? Yes. And then she worked as a businesswoman in a big company and uh, recently she left this job, left this company, and has free time, yeah? So at the moment she's translating my new book into German. It's very nice of her. And um, she's going through a rather difficult process, trying to decide if she wants to become spiritually free or carry on acting out the society's ideas of family. Yeah? Yes. He's been in this situation strongly for about a year now. And I would say she's doing really a good job to, uh, to give both sides of this possibility a good chance. Yeah? <laughs> so, so she's been doing, she's been doing relationship counseling with her husband <laughs> and she's been visiting the Open Sky House. So she's really going deeply into both possibilities very intelligent woman and as you can feel very heartful woman and I've been watching her for a year and every so often she'll send me an email with a kind of progress report you know how is it going <laughs> and it's very beautiful to watch this from my point of view because her journey is actually everybody's journey and because she's rather intelligent and quite good at expressing herself um, she's rather good at kind of expressing the beginning of the spiritual journey, which is exactly her situation. She can't, she can't really, I mean, she may think she can, but she won't actually be able to go back, you know, she won't be able to do a U-turn and go back. It's actually impossible. Um, you know, during the, f the first years, you can always hope, well, you know, this is all getting a bit difficult. Maybe I just go back and be a housewife again, you know, something, or a businesswoman. But actually, this U-turn is, is pretty much impossible, you see. But, of course, in the first year or so, you don't know that. And so, you know, there's always a kind of hopeful, there's always a, a bit of hope in there, you know. And this is very, very beautiful because it's got nothing to do with, you know, Open Sky House or this retreat or John David. It's, it's a kind of, um, how can I say it's like some very deep, basic quality of being a human being. If you're a human being, and somehow we're all human beings here, um, if you're a human being, then inevitably you're going to ask and start to investigate about who you are. And this investigation will take you, maybe even through some different lifetimes, but it will take you to this question, who am I? And of course, we all think we know who we are. We all know I'm John David, you know, that's who I am, you know, John David. This is Shanti, you see. But of course, once you start scratching the surface, that doesn't really work very well. And as you've experienced today, you can start, you know, on the other end, and you can start off by saying, well, oh, I'm consciousness, ha, ha, ha. Everybody knows that. Well, what the fuck is con sorry? <laughs> what 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 is consciousness? You know, what what is it? Nobody knows actually. 